All right, so tell us, that's you? That's me in uh, 72. In August uh, 72. I was a modern dancer. I was with a tour uh, modern dancer ballet in uh, Los Angeles. And uh, at the end, I decided to go to Las Vegas and meet Elvis. And uh, the uh, other time, Livia Monari was me, Nicola Clippa, and, and uh, Livia Monari, and who is it? It's Elvis. It's Elvis Presley. Right? <laughs> Elvis Presley. And uh, he was at, at that time the president of the Elvis Presley Fan Club. And so <clears throat> we, uh, I told him, uh, join me in LA, we go to Las Vegas, we're going to meet Elvis, we're going to meet Elvis, uh, we're going to see a concert. And when we arrived at the Hilton, uh, I immediately saw uh, the Colonel Parker gambling. And I went to him and I said, Hello, Colin Parker. I was 17. I had only, you know, this hot pants only and of different color. <laughs> and uh, I went to, to him and I said, Hi, Colin Parker. We are from Italy. I, uh, he's the president. Uh, and um, we have a, um, a traffic for Elvis. And he said, It's not possible. Why it's not possible? Because, you know, I was already very hmm, determined at 17 already. So I told him, uh, well, it's not possible? It's not possible. Hey, we want to meet Elvis. I started to be pissed off, you know, with him. And he said, it's not possible. Yeah. And I started to gamble again. And uh, I leave it was saying nothing. I said, wow. And I just, uh, in the lobby, I saw um, Joe Esposito. So I went to Joe Esposito, and it, I said uh, to Joe, uh, I, didn't, I didn't think he was as arrogant as, <coughs> and as rude as the Colonel Parker. At least until he was working for her. This, afterwards, when he had no money, he was... Uh, he was uh, kind with the friends, fans, you know, because they, they had to, they paid him, you know? but he was arrogant, arrogant. And uh, I asked him, hey, uh, Joe, uh, we are here from Italy and we want to meet Elvis, we have a trophy. And he said, like Colin Parker, he said, it's not possible. Why? I said, it's not possible. Because it's not, it's not possible. And I said, hey, um, hey, uh, Joe, you have Italian ancestors, you are Italian like us. You know what he said? He said, I'm not Italian, I was born in Chicago. And he turned his back to me? No, nobody can do that. So I went to the metro door of the Hilton, Emilio Muscelli. Who was Italian? He, he moved to the United States uh, at the age of 10, 24, and uh, because uh, the, uh, his family was rich, they had a restaurant in New York, and his uh, uh, uncle died, so they sent him to New York. And then I don't know how he arrived in Las Vegas. He was 50 years old. He was uh, he could speak very good Italian because he, he moved to the United States when he was 24. Right. And so I knocked at the door. I didn't even uh, uh, wait for the answer to come in. I went in and I started to speak in Italian. I said, hey, Emilio, I'm Nicola from Milan and Livio from Recanati. Uh, we are here to see Elvis concert, to meet Elvis. And he was uh, with the glasses like this on his, uh, on his desk. And then he looked at me and said in Italian, what? <laughs> And I said, Emilio, I'm Nicola. <laughs> I come from Milan. Livio is from Reconati. We is president of the Italian Fan Club. We have a trophy for Elvis. We want to meet him and we want to see the concert. 
I just said, how old are you? And I said, I was 17. I said, I'm 18. And you're here alone? No, I said, Livia. Livia was a shy guy. He was 28, but he was a shy guy. He was at the door. And I said, hey, Livia, come in. <laughs> and so, but you have, uh, do you have any booking for the concert? No, we didn't book anything. Why? <laughs> we, we buy the tickets here. You have to queue up. Oh, no, I don't queue up. <laughs> and he, he told me, you are really something. And uh, he treated me like his daughter. He gave us uh, his card, and we could enter through the invited guests. We paid for the show. Right, right. We paid for the show. But he gave us uh, always very good uh, seats uh, without giving any tip. And three times we were in the first row and we didn't pay any tip. You have some pictures there. We'll see some of the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, go through that book first. Which one? Just flip through. Yeah, so there's you with Elvis. Yeah. And that's backstage after the show or? This is backstage. Uh, this is the first time, uh, the second time we met him because the first time we met him, Olivia was so excited that uh, he ran to the uh, room, he charged the camera with already used film. Mm. And uh, when, well, yeah, because when uh, Emilio came to us and said, uh, in 15 minutes you are gonna meet Elvis, wow. Uh, I ran to the lobby, I ran to the lobby and bought two LPs for dedication and I told Livio, go up, take the camera and the trophy. He took the camera but he was so excited he put a, a, a used film. Oh. So Joyce Posito, well, uh, we, we have sat with Elvis for 15 minutes and we have been joking and this and that. With Elvis. With Elvis. I went to Elvis, I jumped on him. I jumped on him and I, I hugged him and kissed me and he hugged me and kissed me back and he said, and he said, hey, how old are you? I said, 18. <laughs> so did he kiss you on the lips? Oh, oh yeah, sure. And, uh, you know? There she is. <laughs> Elvis, there at the Hilton. <laughs> Flip them through, let's see some of those pictures. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we met was... the second time. Yeah. This is the second time. Okay. And uh, I wanted a, a professional photographer. Yeah, it's a uh, really we good have, picture. Uh, we have the two negatives in 6x6. Six six. Okay. We spent a lot of money, but I wanted... Uh, it's worth it, right? It was worth it. It was worth it. So, yeah, keep flipping through there. Let's see what uh, you have. Yeah. This is Emilio Muscelli after we met Alice the first time. So, this is the guy that she told us a story about, friends. He's the one that hooked her up with great seats to Elvis' yeah. show and got her backstage. Yeah. And we are outside the Hilton before meeting Elvis with a trophy. Wow. And the picture of Elvis with a trophy didn't come out. So. Yeah, keep flipping through. Let's see what you have. That's uh, Colonel Parker. Yeah. Very rude and very arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is uh, Tom Diskin. Tom Diskin. Okay, yeah. Wow, keep flipping through there. Yeah, and that's uh, this one. We were at the Hilton. You know, at that time there was nothing around the Hilton. But you see the Elvis sign in the background. Oh, that right. famous that's sign. why we took the picture. We had oh, yeah, that's picture great. Taken. Great picture. And um, we are here at the um, in front of the Las Vegas Hilton. That's uh, for the show, guys. Ah, here, during the day, yeah. During the day here, that's, that was uh, in the uh, lobby of the Hilton? No, the, that the was outside. outside. That yeah. was outside. Was, uh, there was a sort of uh, mm, portico. A poster, yeah. yeah. That was a poster. Let's see what we have. And here's this. Uh, okay, I'll show. We took some pictures of Elvis. It was not, uh, it was not permitted, but did we did. Uh, I forced Olivia to do it, and I cover Olivia. So this picture has never been printed or posted on Facebook. Okay. Watch this and I'll There's a yeah. picture of Elvis Presley there on stage at the Hilton. And and uh, this from the back. 
This we we are very close. Wow, that's a great picture right there. No, look at this. Oh yeah. Trying to get that glare out. Let's see if it's clear. There's Elvis on stage. What year is this? Huh? What year again? What year was this? What do you mean? What year was this show? We saw 14 shows in seven days. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? But it would have been in 1970. It was August uh, from the 23rd till the 29th of August, uh, 72. 72, okay. 72. Let's flip. Let's keep flipping. Come up. Look at this. <laughs> you are the first one taking pictures of that, huh? It's awesome. It's going to be on YouTube. <laughs> the fans will love this. And there's Elvis again on stage. So, yeah, you saw quite a few shows. 14. I like that shirt Elvis is wearing. Yeah, I love that. Uh, he never had jumpsuit during and that week. You and have I had the two uh, scarves. And you still have them? Oh sure, <laughs> and this is the uh, this is the album, and this is uh, the oh you have his autograph too. This is okay. And a dedication to Nicola Love, Elvis Presley. Wow, that is awesome. That's it. Well, you have a great story. I'm glad you shared it to us, Sarah. Um, so so tell us one, it's, one last it's thing. It's the best memory I have of my life. I can I can remember every single moment. We stayed 15 minutes with him the first time and another 15 minutes the second time. I remember the last thing that we asked him the second time was uh, what would you like to have in, uh, um, from Italy? And he said a Ferrari. Who, uh, Elvis, I have no money for a Ferrari. Well, he said, I want to come to Europe next year. I will be there in summer. Uh, come and see me, and I'll buy you a Ferrari. Gosh, Elvis! And I, I hugged him again, kissed him again. I, I couldn't stay away from him. You know, the, the, the second time I kept his uh, right hand in my hands for 15 minutes while we were talking, and uh, he didn't withdraw the hand. No, it was, it was so tender, and we were joking. And, uh, maybe because I was so natural, you know, I was not, um, I was not, I had no makeup and I was uh, like now <laughs> and uh, it was so, so tender, easy going and uh, how can I say special, I've, I've never met because in the 90s I've been a uh, tour manager in uh, Italy for people like uh, Francine Sinatra, Liza Minnelli, Sammy Davis, uh, uh, Paul Anka, Harry Belafonte. But I've never met uh, um, an artist, the, the best entertainer ever, Elvis Presley. He was so tender, it was so easy. It was wonderful. That's awesome. Hey, thanks for telling us that story. Thanks for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Don't double dribble. Subscribe. It's free. You stay updated with every new video that I upload, which is once every Tuesday, and special ones here and there. Please like this video if you like it, share it, and until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.